today I'm going to be doing a review of a resort I recently visited. This resort is Saddleback Main and I'm going to be rating it with the Jonathan Buckhouse scale which I am borrowing from him but it's 10 categories each is 0 to 10, 5 is average, 0 is they don't have it and 10 is the best in the world. So the first category is lift ticket price. So Saddleback does offer a season pass and they do accept Indy Pass, which is great if you have it. But for their day ticket rates, it is 99 for an adult, 89 for a teen or a senior, and for a junior it is $80. I'm gonna call this a six because with the Epic Resorts now charging insane amounts per day. It's kind of above average, so. The so next category is ease of access, which I give a six because I had no problems getting here. It was a little sketchy because in the back roads, there's, you never know if a moose could jump out, but yeah. So the next category is lodging, which I give a six because of how many options you have for the size of resort. You have a few hotels in Rangeley and you also have cabins and you also can get a few ski and ski out cabins on the mountain if you can find a place to rent. The next category is lifts and lines. So I'm gonna give Saddleback an eight easy too. Their lifts are in tip top shape. They have a brand new high speed quad from last year. Um, they have a T-bar, they have a tow rope for the terrain park. They have a quad that takes you all the way to the summit. And one thing I like is that they have a beginner quad. So it files all the beginners off of the main quad and so they can be doing their own thing. And the lines were, there's almost no lines. And I was on a peak weekend and at most you're waiting five minutes maximum. So yeah, the lines are really good as well. So next thing is runs. And I'd say I'm gonna give them a five because they have some pretty steep runs, but nothing too special. I mean, their snowmaking is not that good, and I only came there in December, late December, so they didn't have that much stuff open, and they obviously haven't gotten that much snow yet. So next category is terrain park. Um, when I went there, the park was well-maintained, but they just didn't have that much variety of features, and the tow rope when I went was not running, so I can only give them a four. So next category is food. I give them an average score of five just because it was average lodge food. Nothing special about it, so yeah, I give them a five. So next category is employees, and they blow this out of the water. The guy that helped me and my dad and I get our tickets was super nice. He made sure everything was working, and yeah, the people at the bottom of the lift would reach you every run. Yeah, so I give them a 9, because they were very nice. So next category is views. Uh, I give them a pretty average score is 5. None of the lifts take you to the complete top of the mountain, so you don't get that good of a view, and it's cloudy a lot of the time, so I mean... Five average. So next and final category is likelihood of returning. I'm gonna give it a three just because I live so far away. Even though I want to really come back here on a powder day, the chances are I'm not gonna come back. So after adding all the scores up, Saddleback got a score of 57, which is seven points above average. Um, your experiences may be different from mine, so. Take it with a grain of salt, but this could give you a full perk of what Saddleback is you can like. So I hope this video was informative enough to give you an idea of what Saddleback might be like and if you want to plan your trip here. So, thanks for watching. Bye.